We welcome you to the site formerly known as the Jake Now Progressive Field here in Cleveland. A bat that means business. Shin Su Chu. He'll try and get it running today. Hi again, everybody. Gary Thorne alongside Steve Phillips and John Cruck. 2K Sports brings you Monday Night Baseball. It'll be Carlos Carrasco, the starting pitcher. So, Steve, uh, what's he going to be conscious of as he looks at this Yankees lineup? Well, tough matchup for this right-hander on the mound against this lineup. So he's going to have to really overachieve a bit today and really execute his pitches and elevate the level of his performance to be successful. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Show Live 5 and listen to the MLB 2K Show My Play Series, My Play Series. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be previewing the Baltimore Orioles, baby. I'm so excited. Um, it's that season, you guys. Spring training is... He's getting off to a good start, and uh, I'm 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 absolutely enjoying this. It's it's so crazy when you can turn on MLB Network and they're talking about actual stuff, you know. They're not talking about like the Kardashians or whatever, but they're actually talking about baseball, man. This is like, in my opinion, spring training is the best time because you got the the, the guys that come into camp who no one ever gave them a shot, and they could even win the starting job. And then you got the old guys who come in there like overweight, like Trout, and you know it's. Whew, Spring training is so much fun. I mean, it's 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 crazy. It's fun, but hey, you know what? Like I said, time to start previewing the teams, you guys. That's what time it is. So let's get right down to it. As you guys see, I hit a home run. So, uh, you know, that's exciting. But focusing on previewing. So the first team I'm going to preview is the Baltimore Orioles. Now, I don't know if any of you guys watched the other video, but if you want to, you can from last year and. Uh, I think I was one of the only ones that actually gave him a shot, you know. So uh, I uh, I want to give him props to myself for that. That was uh, very 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 cool. But let's start with previewing the Orioles. Um, so last year, obviously, they had a great year, right? Can we all agree with that? Great year, 93 and 69. Buck Walter absolutely came to play. Now, at the same time, it was really between him and Bob Melvin of who was going to win the manager of the year, right? But yeah, I'm glad that he didn't because that means that Bob Melvin to won it, but props have to go to Buck Walter for using that team, the team that he was given, and making them a contender. You know what I mean? So big props to him. But let's talk about what's going to happen this year, um, in my opinion, in 5 and 0's preview. Here we go. All right, so let's start with your guys' hitting. All right, now Baltimore Orioles fans, please write in the comments again. If, let, let me know if I'm wrong, or let me know what your opinions are. And I fully encourage you guys to just come and say, Yo, Livin', what are you, the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I definitely encourage it. Let's talk about hitting you guys. So you guys got uh, Nolan Raymold. I hope, I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing his name right. He came on at the beginning of the year, but then got hurt. And you guys were like all butthurt about it. And it makes sense. Um, but So from the reports that I was reading, it seems like he's going to be ready for opening day. So you guys should have him for a whole season. As long as he can um, stay healthy, which is a big boost for you guys. Nick Markakis, ah, 248 last year. That's not going to work, son. You, you, you really, really have to step that up. And he's one of those guys that needs to do that. I mean, I don't even really talk, need to talk about Adam Jones, Chris Davis, J.J. Hardy. Those guys know what they're doing. Those guys should be all-stars. I mean, Chris Davis really came onto the scene as someone who now everyone is talking about. You know, um, Adam Jones already was on the scene. Uh, J.J. Hardy, terrible year last year, man. What is going on? After I talked to you about you in my video, you're going to do that crap. Uh, bounce back here. Bounce back here for J.J. Hardy. Uh, <laughs> um, Mark Reynolds is a guy who you guys lost, obviously. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because you guys are very, very good offensively. Um, offense was really never one of your guys' problems. It was always the pitching part of things. And I think that, you know, with you guys giving Chris Davis um, the main responsibilities at first base, and then you guys' DH, it looks like, um, according to your guys' depth chart, your DH is actually um, going to be Wilson Betamit. Uh He sucks. You guys may want to, I mean, and that's another thing. I mean, that DH position uh, in spring training is really up for grabs for the Orioles, so I'm curious who you guys give that to. Um, Matt Wieters, again. Like I said in, in last year's video, you guys, Matt Wieters, he's got the defense, he's got the arm, the average needs to start getting a little bit better, um, but he definitely, definitely will come back and have a year like he's having. I mean, 249, 23 home runs, 83 RBIs from a catcher, that is something that you can work with as a team. 
All right, so overall your hitting I think is going to be pretty stellar. I don't think you guys are going to have any problems scoring runs, but let's talk about your terrible pitching. Um, Chen, he's decent. He's he's good. Um, but I think he really, I mean, I think that people want him to be the number one, but he needs to prove to be the number one. Hamill, 8-6, uh, and six, 3.43 ERA. He's your guy that's number one. Chen is a close number two. Like, those two, I think, are going to have to really step it up. And I mean, because like I said, you guys are in the AL East. And you guys are going up against teams with major offensive prowess. So you guys need to have pitching. If you don't, you guys are going to be in trouble. Uh, oh, one, one guy that I really want to mention as this, as this video wraps up, you guys. Um, as you guys see, we get the win against the Cleveland Indians. But Chris Tillman, oh my gosh, this guy is absolutely a beast. He came on 9-3, and 3.43 3 ERA, and you guys are putting him as a number three starter, I think. I could see him taking over that number one spot from Hamill and jumping over Chen, to be honest with you guys. He's an amazing, amazing talent. I'm really excited to see you guys play. Um, and then that fifth spot in your rotation. <sighs> After Gonzalez, obviously, because Gonzalez is kind of locked in on number four. He's no, he's not stellar, but he's a good number four for you guys. That five spot, I'm not really sure who it's going to be. I, I'm hoping it's act, actually Zach Britton, just because I think that he has the stuff if he can just get his crap together. But Zach Britton is someone who I think uh, can do that. But really, number five, I mean, this is it. You know, this is spring training. Now it's time to see who really wants a cookie, you know? Who's really going to step up? <laughs> who wants the cookie? Who's really going to step up and do it? So, overall, I think uh, you guys have a good team here. You guys were able to keep your core nucleus of guys. Um, I don't think you guys are going to surprise anyone anymore. Kind of like the A's, you guys aren't really going to surprise anyone. If your pitching steps up, your hitting will carry most of the load. Your pitching just needs to keep them below three runs. If they can keep them below three runs every game, you guys have a good chance of winning. You guys really, I mean, this is really a plea to you guys. Because at the end of the day, I'm excited about you guys, what you guys did last year. Your fans need to come out and support you. Okay, and this goes for the A's as well, and I'll get to that when I preview them. But people feed off of um, uh, support. So if you guys are there supporting them, if you Oriole fans are there at the yard supporting them, it'll mean a lot. Just Trust me on that, it will. Um, where do I think you guys are going to finish this year? Now, last year I said that you guys would finish behind the, the Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. <sighs> the Red Sox suck. Uh, and I don't think the Red Sox are going to do that much this year. Um, and I'll get into that again with their preview. But I think you guys are going to have a pretty decent year. I think you guys are going to just miss the wild card, but I don't think you guys are going to go over, over like, under 500. I think you guys are probably going to be, probably going to get mm, 80 wins, but with the, but with the AL, I don't think that's going to be enough to get the wild card. You guys may get high 80s, but again, I think that, you know, a lot of teams, in the, it's hard to get that wild card spot in the AL, just saying. It's really, really hard. All right, you guys, that's it. Definitely hit a like, definitely subscribe. I know this was a pretty long video. Um, definitely... Write a comment. Let me know what you guys think the orders are going to stack up. And we're in the East. So next team that I'm going to preview is the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Um, and then we'll do all the AL East. And then we'll jump over to the Central and then the West. And then we'll do the NL East, Central, West. Okay, so kind of like that. Um, and I hope that I get through all these things. Like I said, write in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the Orioles. Again, big props to you guys for doing what you did. Um, big, big props to Showalter. He he is a beast. But New York kicked you guys' ass, so I'm just going to say that. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. Little five, I'm out